Hey everybody, welcome back to Off the Wall. I'm Mike, and the day I've been dreading and praying for is finally here. We are here to talk about the final uh, episode, well, the season finale slash possible final episode of the Orville New Horizons. I hope to God that this show gets more seasons, but if it doesn't, what a final episode because this episode reminded us of what made the Orville so special and that was the laughs and that was the emotions and that was our love for the characters and the love they have for each other I laughed I got choked up I laughed when I say I laughed I laughed hard a couple times um and it was just a great episode because I think I think they made this episode because the name of the episode is is Future Unknown, and um, right, the name of this episode is Future Unknown, and I think that's very fitting, both in terms of how it relates to the story, and how it relates to the show itself. Because the future of the show is unknown; we don't know if it's getting a fourth season. It hasn't been announced yet. It was kind of assumed that this was kind of be kind of a last hurrah anyway, and I don't think anybody was really counting on that being as good as it turned out to be and i mean I, I was already hoping this wouldn't be the last season i was really hoping they would knock us out of the park and get more and i hope they do but again if this is how it's got to go out it's going out on such a wonderful note on such a great lovely heartwarming note and i'm so uh happy that this show got to become what it was in the end of season three I loved season one and I adored season two, but season three, you know, the Orville New Horizons, it was, it was just everything I needed it to be. As someone, as a longtime Star Trek fan who has become somewhat kind of jaded with, with Star Trek, um, and, and not just, not so much with Star Trek, but with, with Paramount and CBS and how they've handled Star Trek in terms of how they've treated the fans and how they seem to have kind of forgotten what made Star Trek Star Trek in the first place. Um, this was such a welcome, lovely, um, emotional, and fulfilling show to watch. Every episode of every season of this show, you could feel Seth MacFarlane's love for Star Trek coming out. And season three in particular was such a just honest and, and thoughtful uh, season of television the finale deals with uh, Isaac deciding to propose marriage to Claire after the crew witnesses Bordas and Clyden having their vow renewal ceremony uh, from uh, in in the Mocklin tradition which is basically sexual assault um, they say as much in the episode it's unusual but everything about the mocklins is unusual um they they love to boink and they love to boink as rough as humanly possible um it's such a great way to start the episode with big laughs and uh big emotions with with isaac proposing and the it, it really plays into the strength of having these longer episodes on hulu because i have a hard time believing that this episode would have been able to breathe the way it did on a broadcast TV 45 minute model. Um, having an hour, hour 10, hour 15 to really just let this whole story play out the way it needed to be um, really, really benefited strongly. Um, there's great, great dynamic with, uh, with Isaac and the rest of the crew, it's, it's particularly with Lamar and there's great moments with Claire and uh, uh, talking with Kelly and and with uh everything kelly's dealing with because we have a character returning from an early episode um that really puts a lot of things in perspective it gets there is still moments of this episode that get very real world and i think that's been the beauty of this show is that's the thing that always made star trek so special and we've talked about this just about every single week we've talked about this show but um, this week's episode, this finale, really kind of hammered the point a few points home, and um, it was there were some returning faces, there were some um, absolutely hilarious laughs, there were some genuinely 
heartfelt moments. I have never been more excited about the appearance of a sandwich in my entire life. And I'm so glad I was there for it. Um, it, uh, it was, it was a fantastic episode. And if you haven't watched it yet, first of all, I don't know why you're here. Um, second of all, I don't know what's wrong with you. If you have not yet still checked out the Orville, the fuck, I mean, it's, I, 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 I've said it every week and I'm saying it again. Like this is probably my favorite show that I've watched this year so far. I'm putting it over the boys and I loved the, the boys season three was flawless this this show but the orville uh, gave me what i needed emotionally and it gave me a sense of closure but also uh hope for what's to come next that that they they leave the door open just enough that we could get that there's that there's more to do with this crew but they put a nice bow on things so that if this does have to be the last episode what an episode to end on um, it was just, I, I have nothing but warm, loving things to say about this episode and about this show. And if this is the end, I am going to miss it dearly. I am really going to miss the Orville if this is the end. And like, I, I trust me, I've got Twitter alerts on and everything. Like the moment this show gets renewed, my neighbors are going to file a noise complaint because I am going to scream and shout and probably break some shit. Um, and when it does, in, in the event that it does, we do find out that this is it, that it's not coming back again, I'm probably uh, going to drink every drop of alcohol I have in my house and not leave my room for a couple of days. Uh, it, this, this show has just, it's, it's, uh, it's done for me what, what, years of star trek did for me growing up and um it's 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 great for me too because like star trek means a lot to me star trek means a lot to me because it was something that my dad and i bonded over my dad's the one who really 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 got me into science fiction and he was a massive trek fan um uh, and that's why trek is so special to me and and i wish that he had been around to see this show because especially the show get to where it is now, because I really do think he would have loved how this show ended up. I think he would have absolutely loved it. And um, that's why a part of the reason why I love this show so much is because it just, it gets to let me uh, continue loving in an indirect way, something that my dad and I share. And so this show um is just it's wonderful i can't stop gushing about it enough so it's an absolutely flawless finale and it's an absolutely wonderful show and season three is my favorite season three of the orville the new orville new horizons has been my favorite season of television i've watched this year and um and there's still plenty of time left in the year but this has just done wonders for me in my heart and i'm so glad i got to watch it and i hope you guys have enjoyed it as well and uh hopefully We'll be back again in a year or so talking about season four because I'll be here. I'm ready to talk about some more Orville. I don't know about you guys, but in the meantime, you can also watch me talk about Stranger Things as I do my watch along for that. I can also watch the watch along for Harley Quinn that Sol and I are doing. Got lots more reviews and stuff coming down the train. Let me know what you guys thought of this season of the Orville. Let me know what you thought about this episode of the Orville. Let me know what the Orville means to you. Let me know what the Orville and Star Trek both mean to you down in the comments or let me know on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter and all of us on Twitter and the show on Twitter. All of our Twitter stuff's in the description of this video. So find it there. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys again next time right here on Off the Wall. Bye!